When did you think that things were different? When did you become <coughs> aware that you weren't like all the other boys and girls in your class? You um, I suppose it was when you, you know, go out in public and people are like looking and they're like, oh, there's Joanne, you know, she has no limbs, you know, at the start. And, yeah. you know, I remember when we were like five, my cousin Dylan, he was with me and he was like, do you know what really annoys me? And we were only five at the time. And he was mm. like, I was like, what? And he was like, people staring at you like you're different, you're not different, you're my cousin. And I was like, oh, sure, Dylan, like, it's probably amazing to them, you know, I mean, it's not every day you see a person with no limbs scooting by going wee or whatever. Yeah. I mean, like, if someone saw it, you'd be like, oh, my God, I've seen Mary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, stuff like that. But, um... Do you, do you ever have, have moments of, of, of intense reflection about the what-ifs in the world? Do you ever think when you're in your room alone sometimes, what in the hell card I've been dealt with? Or are you very philosophical about what's happening in your life and your world? Um, I suppose, like, you do have the what-ifs moment, but, like... Again, you know, I always wanted to play GA, but like clubs like Two Hollow and Ballingary and all them, they've been like so nice and they've been like, Joanne, come on board, you know, support us and yeah. we'll see how far we're getting. Like when Two Hollow got to the county final last year, you know, that was like a massive thing and I was like literally part of the team nearly and Nate okay. was like, she's our mascot, you know, wherever we go, she goes. Yeah. You know, we effectively lost to Castle Haven, so. <laughs> and do you ever get upset about what, your, 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 your position in the world or do you ever think about it like that? I suppose I have those like teenage, you know, the moments, you know, where hormones are high and, you know, boys have said no to you and stuff like that. Mm. But um, at the end of the day, you know, this is it. You know, I can't really do much about it. And then, you know, you have my friends going, you know, but you conquered America, you went to the UN, you know, you did all these amazing things. You mm. met One Direction and all mm. these things. And you're like, actually, my life is all right, I suppose. 